Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Arrow back at it again with another video. And today I'm going to be going over the four key things I wish I knew before starting up my company, Flow State Gaming. But before we do that, make sure you leave a like on the video and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my future videos. I'm currently in a race with JXY loading to 200 subs, so let's make it happen, let's go for gold, and let's win it. Alright, so the first thing I wish I knew before starting up Flow State Gaming is do not expect 100% from your team. And the reason I'm saying that is when you bring on new people into your team, they don't have the same drive and vision that you do to make your business flourish. They're kind of just on for the ride. So one thing that happened with me when I started up Flowstay Gaming is that I brought all these people onto my team. I gave them a vague explanation about what the company is, what I want to do with it, and they were all on board. But then when I started expecting things like, yo, I want you to get this done, this done, this done, and I want this level of quality, this level of quality, and this level of quality, they weren't really performing to that extent and eventually over time you can just see their interest start to degrade so make sure when you bring someone on board you're doing a majority of the work you're kind of setting an example being a role model for the people on your team otherwise you're going to be really let down and your energy and everything like that is going to start to degrade and you're going to start to get really angry all right so the second thing i wish i knew before starting up flow state gaming respond to your emails quickly all right, once again respond to your emails quickly so when it comes to responding to your emails, you really don't want to be waiting two, three, and four days to respond when a company reaches out to you. It really sets a bad example and it starts to let the other company know that you're not really that interested in doing business with them. So you really want to make sure that you're responding to your emails as soon as you like as soon as you get them. Make sure you turn on notifications on your phone, check your emails two, three times a day. Just make sure that you're staying up to date with all the information coming in so that you can show the companies and the people that you're actually interested in working with them. So there's been a number of times where companies would send me out emails asking for my help or getting my input on something or maybe wanting to like make a, an event happen and I would wait two, three days, never more than three. Uh, that's such a lie. <laughs> By the time I'd get back to them, they would say, oh, I thought you weren't really interested. We looked for help from somewhere else. Okay, the third key tip to remember is make sure you have a solid business plan and not just a regular solid business plan that you hear from everyone else, a solid business plan that you can explain to others easily. And the reason I say make sure it's very easy to explain is because when it comes to future investors or potential partners, you want to make sure it's very easy for them to understand. You don't want to have 10 things going on like your company does X, Y, Z, A, B, C. They're going to be very confused, not really going to know what's going on. And then they're more likely to kind of pull out and just say, oh, well, you know, good luck with that. All right, and I guess at this point, I should take a second to explain what Flow State Gaming is because I've been talking a little bit about it, but I haven't really given you guys some insight as to what exactly Flow State Gaming is. So I created Flow State Gaming back at the end of 2018, and my mindset was, I really love esports and gaming. I want to do something with it, but I want to differentiate myself from all the other esports organizations that are out there. So what I decided to do was that I made an esports organization that has pro players, but I also went heavy on the event management side of things. So we had a lot of in-house events and tournaments, as well as promoting players to play at the highest levels of competitive play. And so a lot of times what would happen to me is that people that wanted to reach out to work with me weren't really sure if I was focused more on the esports side of things or more towards the event management side of things. And, and just so I can set the record straight, we were more focused on the esports side of things. Okay, and the last fourth thing that I wish I knew before starting up my own company is to stay true to your company ideals. You're going to be getting a lot of requests to work with other companies, a lot of other smaller companies that are also looking to increase their own growth but your two value propositions and your two customer bases do not align at all. So sometimes it's gonna be a lot better for you to just not take every single deal because I know you get really excited when that first deal comes in and they wanna partner up with you and you're like, this is finally gonna be my chance to become legit. Just take a second, think about it. Is this really gonna benefit me and my company? And if not, just say no, move on. So there you guys have it. Those are my four key things I wish I knew before starting on my own company. I really hope you guys enjoyed and took something away from it. Like I said before, I'm currently in a race with JXY Loading to get to 200 subs. So if you guys appreciated this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if any of these tips worked for you or any tips that you wish you knew before you started your own companies. So thanks again for watching. Take care and peace.